guys, welcome back to today's Trent Resort episode and I'm back with another unboxing video here. It's actually a special one. Uh, I personally would say special if you clearly you've seen the site or see, already seen the thumbnail, you know why it is. So, I can tell what's inside the box, we're going to open it here together. So, I'm going to just give it the Amazon's box before we actually get up to the original box. That's just a big ass box for one gaming controller. So obviously we got the Duke box. Honestly quite like the design of it. Got the tron the front. We got other things on the box on the back. We have the control on the side, as well as the other side. Uh, so once again, we'll just get rid of this box. It's actually a good looking box, I will be honest. Here's a... Uh... <laughs> Another sticker somewhere? That's oh, a sticker on the bomb. Cheers. As we slowly get rid of this top bit of the box and try the clean. Uh, personally, this is the controller. I am really shit at these boxing soils. We have a little guide how to basically connect her up. But it's a USB controller, you know how to connect her up. As well as a really special thanks to basically everybody who designed the controller. And obviously, just in case you guys didn't know who the head of Xbox is, Mr. Phil Spencer. He was the one who was happy enough to jump, jump on with this project. And, um, yeah, it was really quite touching actually for like game like game company that would design this controller to bring this back in such a way. So the screw of the box, obviously underneath the controller we got the cable for it to work. It's not wireless, so for sent quick controller, uh, it's not wireless, but it doesn't matter if you're old school fan because honestly I prefer keeping it wired uh, to give of that old school fan. So obviously you got like the thumbsticks, uh, A, X and B and Y button, you have the black and white watch for the original Xbox, that was the early days of LB and RB. I uh, got the D-pad and obviously with the additions with the Xbox One of uh, starting back or whatever you fucking call them, I might prefer to call it start back really, because it's still pretty much do the same job. Uh, as well as on top, they got rid of the memory card slides because obviously they won't work on Xbox One. And we do have the addition RB and LB buttons. Bumpers. Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh. And we do have the LB and RB buttons which they were not there before for a bit of extra extra buttons I guess I could say. And I'll say they, get, they got rid of the sticker and place it with a LD screen which I uh, can't wait to turn on. But before we do move on, let's move this crowd away. We need that now in a minute, so we'll just check the spot. Check it away. And obviously then what we do have is the the original bad boy side to side. This is a little bit more dirtier. We can't help it. I think actually the new version is actually a little bit smaller. It looks a bit smaller, it actually looks a bit smaller, but I don't know. Um, obviously it's kept the same design. Uh, obviously, like I said, they did get rid of the LB and RB buttons. Well, they added the LB and RB buttons. Uh, as well as starting back, it's still in the same place. Everything's still in the same place. Uh, honestly, it's test the comfort of it. So obviously this is the original one which I'm using, I know a lot of people comment down below. Uh, 
see if the comfort is still pretty much the same. That obviously the normal one feels more newer, but other than that, they do feel a lot more. It does feel pretty much the same. So obviously, let's show you guys. Take a look at the memory slots on the new version, as well as added LB and RB on the sides to for newer game for, for newer gamers, I guess you could say. As well as they got rid of that shitty speaker sticker and added the LD screen. So obviously that's the original Duke. The new Duke. And obviously the ones that did come after it, so the S the original Xbox S controller. The 360 <laughs> Xbox One. Uh, the S model gets Project Scorpio one, please. Because that's close. Give them both of them. Uh, the original Xbox One. Obviously, got a limited Xbox One. A Project Scorpio, uh, but basically the X slash the X controller. And obviously, the expensive one out of this collection is the Delete. Honestly, these controllers are all mine. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, I got a lot more controllers now. Because obviously I do have some more like, a, like this Agent Lock one, which really that should be something like this, but like this. But yeah, generations of, uh, of the controllers are right by you. And this is the original bad boy started off. From the original to the S to the 360 to the Xbox Ones, two of the Xbox One S X controller. Uh, well, I forgot about the Delete generation, but yeah, you got the Delete before the X and S. But then you also got the X slash the S controller, and then eventually then you go back to the Duke. Uh, obviously, that's a quite amazing cycle how we started it, and at this point in time we ended it with this. Obviously, there's a New controller that Microsoft did months like yesterday when I'm recording this, but it's a couple of days ago when you put see this on YouTube. And now is the disabled controller, which obviously I'm not gonna buy because I'm not disabled, but no idea if I'm gonna pick it up or not, probably not. Um But yeah, that's all my controllers at this point in time. And yeah. Just set the camera back up. Now, so you can end the video about showing you guys the logo, at least the loading screen for the home button. Uh, so let's plug this in and give it a try. That was just absolutely amazing, isn't it? I like the game noises when that's done, and if you're like, I do miss playing the original Xbox, you could just tab it and watch it do it over and over again. So then you just stuck to that one time, the first time you put in the controller. It's actually there for life. Until the LD screen goes, but that uh, should never happen. But yeah. That's the end of this video. Let me know down below if you've got one of these controllers. As well as leave some feedback down below for me help me improve my channel. Um, like if you'd like this video. Subscribe to subscribe. subscribe. Uh, also as well as to see my future content as well as see me doing a reveal on this controller. So that'll be out in a month of time, so that will end and I can tell you about my thoughts about this controller and how does it stand with today's games. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment on the feedback, uh, as well as check Liam, check my mate Liam, which his links will be down below. Uh, yeah, because he's obviously my cameraman today, so I wouldn't able to do this video without him. So, that's his thumbs by the way, if you're wondering. That is just some random guy behind the camera. So yes, yeah, so just check out his link, check out his link down below. And subscribe to him, feel free to do it. Check out the rest of his content too. But other than that guys, I will see you guys in another, another Trying to Show's video and I will see you guys.